Hello, today I would like to show you how to export and import a FlexiCapture document definition. Um, this is not super intuitive when we just see the software interface out of the box, so I wanted to show this to you how it's done, and, then, and once you see it, it'll make very good sense to you. What I have in front of us is a source folder and a destination folder. There are actually two existing projects within those folders. The source is where we're going to get the, the document definition, and the destination is where we're going to import it into the new project. So let's uh, let me show you what we have here. Within the source, I already have... Uh, our files that we need locally on my file system. Now, if you're using the standalone version of the product, you will have your files on your file system as well, and you have everything you need. If you're using the distributed version of the product, we want you to open up the project, go to project, menu, and export the project. You can obviously select the, where you're gonna put it. I would just do something very similar where you would maybe call this your source project. Once you export it, which I'm not going to do, it'll just create the exact systems that you saw that I had uh, on within my folder here. And the secret to all of this is that within this templates folder is a document definition. This is the one that contains all the settings of you know where our fields are and those, those kind of things. And that's the file that we're going to use to import into the uh, new destination project. So what I'm going to do is go back to my main folder and select our destination project. I'm going to open up that project. I'm going to go to the project menu, go to document definitions. I'm going to import. And what I want to do is locate the source folder. I want to go into the templates directory. And then I need to switch the file type menu down here at the bottom. When I do that, I will now have access to my document definition file from the source, and I can now open that and import it into our destination project. And there you can see it's now imported, and of course I have all my settings and things there related to that project. So uh, it's not a hard step uh, to, to make this happen. It's just something that uh, sometimes it's nice to see it instead of uh, you know reading a, a bunch of instructions on how to do it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it's a very useful task when we need to export and import document, document definitions in between projects. So um, if you have any questions, please reach out to us. We'd love to be of assistance to you.